We live in a world of negativity, and it's so easy for anybody to ferment negativity. It's almost like it's in the air, and it's very easy for it to get into your lungs, and the only thing you breathe can easily become negativity. And even the way you report a positive story, the negativity is so bad that even positive stories are reported negatively. I'll give you an example. Recently, one of our daily papers, I won't say which one out of respect, had a headline on the front page. President Chakwera splashes 11 million kwacha on Zikomo Awards. Splashes 11 million. Now this is painted in a negative fashion. And in fact, at the Zikumo Awards, the president gave the prize money to these awardees, but the prize money didn't come from the president. It came from private sector companies who said, if the president is giving medals and plaques to Malawians for service to country, we want to award them with some money. The president didn't give them the money. The companies did. And even at the event, the president took a picture with the companies that sponsored the money. But the headline, I mean, this is such a positive story. Malawian companies celebrating Malawian citizens who have done great things for their country. But the headline is Chakwera splashes 11 million at Zikumo Awards. So there are many places you can go to find negativity. Here, we tell you progress so that you can be encouraged by it because there is a lot of progress being made in many respects in this country and it's worth celebrating. It's worth focusing on it and it's also good for the country because when we spread negativity everywhere, people outside the country assume that everything about our country is bad and therefore don't go to Malawi. The Malawians themselves believe that there is nothing good in their country. So why should anybody else think there is anything good here? So a reminder about the objective of this State House brief. Very simple. To keep you, the Malawian people, informed and encouraged about the progress the President is making on the things he promised, the five things. Servant leadership, uniting Malawians, prospering together, ending corruption, and the rule of law. So today what we're going to do is we're going to give you somewhat of an overview of the progress the president has made over the course of the last two years that he's been in office. As you know, our President D. Akala Morphis is read. So, State House Briefing, how much progress has he made? And then, um, so that we'll do that a little later. Um, but first, I thought I would just give you an update. Since this is a quarterly brief, I thought I would give you um, an update on uh, the president's activities over the last quarter, just so that you can get a sense of what the president has been up to, if I may. Um, some of the things the president preoccupies himself with, and I think it's uh, useful information for all citizens uh, regarding the president's uh, time. What does the president spend his time doing? And the simple answer is the president spends most of his time fighting for the welfare of the Malawian people. Most of the president's time is dedicated to serving the interest of the Malawian people. How does he do that? He meets regularly with ministers because the ministers are responsible for different ministries 
that are serving Malawians. So he's regularly meeting ministers to find out. Program ya kuti ya kuti debat. Iji jijo mjukwene ya wenda kunduna kwa andu kuta Malawi. Mio yawe ende buinu. Chiribat. He spends a lot of time one-on-one -on -one with ministers, holding them accountable, asking them questions, getting reports from them, giving them directions. Most of this you will never see in public, but he, he spends a lot of time with ministers, one-on-one -on -one in meetings, holding them accountable, asking questions, demanding reports, giving them directions. That's what he does, because he spends most of his time fighting for you, the Malawian people. So, for example, in April, he met with the Minister of Water and Sanitation for that reason. He met with the Minister of Homeland Security for that reason. He met with the Minister of Energy for that reason. He met with the Minister of Mining for that reason. He met with the Minister of Finance for that reason. He met with the Minister of Foreign Affairs for that reason. He met with the Minister of Labor for that reason. And so the President is regularly meeting uh, with uh, uh, different ministers in order to make sure that the ministries are focused on serving the Malawian people. So uh, these are some of the meetings he held at ministerial level. Secondly, the president s focuses his time on serving Malawians by focusing on meetings with heads of government institutions. Aside from the ministers, they are also heads of key institutions that uh, serve the Malawian people, and the president meets with them uh, to ensure that uh, those government institutions are serving the interests of Malawians. So he met uh, over the course of the last uh, quarter, uh, he met with uh, the leadership of Green Belt Authority, and um, uh, he met with the leadership uh, of MACRA, and he met with the uh, folks at the uh, uh, Export Development Fund, uh, the EDF, and um, he also met with the National Intelligence uh, Service leadership due several times, uh, leadership from ESCOM because they provide a service uh, to the Malawian people, so he wanted to check in with them. He checks in with them regularly to make sure that he understands what's going on with power generation and electricity and what are we doing about the power plant that was destroyed by um, Tropical Storm Anna. So this is what the president spends a lot of time on, meeting with heads of government institutions that provide different services uh, to the Malawian people, uh, heads of uh, even uh, educational institutions. He met with uh, leadership from Luana uh, University uh, in order to find out how the Malawian uh, students are being served there and if there is anything the president can do to improve matters um, to improve matters there. So uh, these, this is the focus uh, of the president. Uh, thirdly, the president focuses his attention on serving Malawians by meeting with development partners, partners from other countries that can avail resources for Malawi's development agenda. And so over the course of the last quarter, the president has met with uh, Malawi's partners from China. Uh, the Chinese ambassador has been to see the president. Uh, folks from ICRISAT, which fund several activities in the agricultural sector, uh, he met with them. He met with the director general of OPEC Fund, which is funding a lot of water projects uh, in various dis districts like Doha. Uh, he did that. He met with the UK Minister for Africa, uh, Honorable Vicky Ford, because the United Kingdom is an important partner to Malawi in terms of development. Uh, he met with the US Ambassador several times uh, in order to uh, cement programming for the development of Malawi. 
One of the fruits of that engagement was the recent visit over the weekend by uh, Samantha Power, who is the chief of uh, USAID, and she announced a $158 million uh, package for Malawi and, and informed the president that it has pleased President Joe Biden of the United States to include Malawi on the short list of countries that are targeted, are to be targeted by um, the United States for uh, what they are calling Feed the Future initiative countries where there is a great deal of potential for investment in agriculture uh, and, and that the policies of the government there, meaning the government of the president, President Chakwera, uh, are the sort that are driven towards productivity and increase uh, in, uh, in production of crops, especially as food prices are going up around the world. Uh, there is an interest in partnership with Malawi to, to grow the sector. So these are just a few examples of uh, things the president has, has been doing to serve the Malawian people, meeting with ministers, government institutions, development partners. Fourthly, the president focuses on serving Malawians by actually being with Malawians, spending time with them, different groups uh, to hear the concerns they have so that he's constantly learning and uh, listening to what the Malawian people are saying. The president is probably the most listening president we have had in this country. He loves to spend time with different groups and listen. You can sit through entire meetings with President Chakwera without him saying a word because he wants to listen to you. He wants to listen to what you have to say. And so over the course of the last quarter, he's met with various groups. He's met with religious groups, community, uh, communities of faith, like when he spent time with uh, Christians doing, during the Way of the Cross. Uh, he uh, has attended three funerals in that time, uh, including, I think the last was um, the funeral uh, of uh, Mate. Uh, who passed tragically uh, recently, and um, uh, he has met with traditional leaders up and down the country, in the east, in the south, uh, even up in the north, when he went up to uh, Mzimba to spend time there with the people, went up to uh, Karonga to spend time with the people. So. Uh, the president enjoys spending time with different groups, even the press. Uh, in the last quarter, the president hosted the press for breakfast here so that he can hear what are the concerns the press have, what are some of their challenges. Uh, and he, he will sit in the room and just listen uh, to, uh, to them. So that's another thing the president spends a lot of time on, listening to Malawians as they are telling him the issues that they are facing. The um, president also spends time uh, in public events in order, public events are important in order to promote uh, the, the president's agenda, to also inform Malawians of what each program is for and how they can benefit from it. Uh, because sometimes it happens that uh, there is a program of the government, but Malawians don't know about it and therefore they don't know how they can benefit from it or how they can access it. So the reason the president does public events is so that he can use those to inform Malawians, here is a program my government is putting in place, here is how it will benefit you, here is how you can access it uh, and so forth. So he has done several public events over the course of the last quarter, including crop inspection tours in the districts of Doha, Deza, Ncheu, Rumpi, Kota Kota, Chitipa, Karonga, and Mzimba. Uh, and he has also presided over two swearing-in ceremonies for uh, judges of the High Court and the Supreme Court, one on the 9th of April and another one uh, recently on the 1st of July, where he swore in four justices for the Supreme Court. Uh, another public event he did was the installation of the Paramount Chief, uh, Chikula Maembe, up in the north. Uh, and so uh, in April, uh, similarly, he launched the National Tourism Investment Master Plan, which was a public event. 
Uh, and so he does stuff like that. These are just a few examples, uh, but these are done in order to serve the interests uh, of the Malawian people. And these things he does publicly, so you can even go through the public program of the president, through the media houses or the television stations, and you will find that actually a lion's share of the president's time is spent on uh, serving the welfare of the Malawian people. Uh, the president has held uh, two or three cabinet meetings in the course of the last quarter. The first one was on April 8, uh, but he held uh, another one even as recently as uh, last month. And so he makes sure to have at least a monthly, a monthly cabinet meeting uh, as long as he's around. So he has continued to do that because cabinet is the highest level of uh, government. Uh, and uh, and so uh, decisions, certain decisions have to be made at cabinet level, certain policies have to be passed at cabinet level, certain, certain laws have to be uh, uh, initiated from, from cabinet. So the president makes sure he continues to do that. Another job the president has in service of Malawians is being commander in chief. He's responsible for the national security of our borders as well as the national national security of the Malawian people. So uh, he is the commander in chief of the Malawi Defense Force. And so regularly he meets with the, uh, he convenes meetings of the Defense Council. And in this last quarter, the president met with the Defense Council on April 13th in order to give direction to the armed forces about the security uh, of the country. Uh, number eight that uh, preoccupies the president is uh, meeting with private sector players. Uh, recently, in this last month, the president launched private sector labs, labs that brought uh, private sector players from many, many different places. Companies came from Blantam, Zuzu, and here in the central region. Uh, and Hama Business, uh, President Amagunda Gumana now, Dijolinga Yodi, Ave, Kudi Kudi, my business, and a woman and his time with Tazanji, Zome Neomonga, President Wadziko, the Tagojota, would my business you as he end up win. Then how is in a body Timaka, Zigo, Zigo, Timakangari, said Mafuna, Vesitana, and among Tamangira, Gunena would be our president, a woman and down to her business, the order of Nabangaza Jinango. Aye. President uh, schedule yao kuda kumanende andu hama business o siyana siyana andu hama business ha ulimi andu hama business uh, opanga zintu uh, zazipato ma business ka ugulita uh, ma grocerezi a uh, president hama funa kuda anfe kuti business yanu ufune ka jani kuti zienda buino ya president apide haka kumanende andu amboma ndu kukonza zintu zimenezo kuti ma business zienda so uh, the president has spent a lot of time this last quarter meeting with various private sector partners. And that doesn't just mean private sector partners here in Malawi, but even when he travels, he's meeting with private sector partners. So for example, you know there is a pharmaceutical company that makes medicines and vaccines by the name of Pfizer, which actually has produced one of the most effective vaccines for COVID-19. The president had a phone call with the president of Pfizer um, uh, back, I believe it was April 19th, uh, that the president had a Zoom call in order to appeal for, you know, what can I do as president of Malawi in order to ensure that the Malawian people have access to quality medicines and vaccines produced by Pfizer. Pfizer invited the president to participate in a program that's going to make medicines and vaccines available to Malawi at production cost with no profit margin added on top. The president negotiated that deal, and when he went to Davos in Switzerland, 
that deal was announced at a highly publicized press conference where the president was flanked by President Kagame on his right and Bill Gates of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation on his left, announcing this huge package that's going to make medicines and vaccines available to Malawi at no profitable margin cost at all. This is what he's able to do as president by engaging private sector players and inviting them to participate, to partner with Malawi government in doing things that are good for the Malawian people. Uh, let me mention one last thing. Uh, the president engages in bilateral relations to make sure Malawi's relationship with other countries uh, is positive so that by working together with other countries, certain problems can be resolved because Mavuto go board and Mozambique. Mavuto amene usanga. Boma singa tani nao. Popanda ubale kuguiza na ndiye antwa ku Mozambique. Ndiye ubale pagadi pa Malawi. Ndi maigwe na ndo ufu nikira. Fupa makama mavuto ena odi. Ndi ufu ta kwa sova. Popanda kuguiza na manja ndi antwa amene yo. Ndi mbuyo umu. Takadu kuona kuti. Maboma ena. Mina umaka angadi kunyoze la ubali ndi mae kwenye ndi mapeza uti zintuzina kumawe kuna sisi uenda. Chifora antu wanadi nyanyala kuta pangani mwone kuti mbwa nga buwanchi. Kumaja kwele sama pangani chifuwa ni maso mpenya o mazi wakuti easy tukoza wapanga toka. Easy nzofu ni kati kukirane manja. Ndi au ndi ama limpikira ndi tuku limpikita ubali wakati pa Malawi ndi mae kwenye. And that's why uh, in this last quarter the president took two trips. Uh, uh, took a state visit to Mozambique in order to cement some of the bilateral uh, initiatives that are taking place, including the project where the president is wanting to make sure Malawi is able to uh, draw uh, electricity from the grid in Mozambique uh, so that we are part of the, uh, uh, the network for, for, for the Southern Africa region. And so he took a state visit over there uh, in order to cement those things. Uh, that was um, uh, back in April. In May, the president traveled to Davos, Switzerland, where he was able to secure this multi-million dollar package with Pfizer uh, and see it uh, delivered. Uh, he also mentioned recently that he is going to do a, an anti-corruption conference uh, in July. That anti-corruption conference is going to take place on the 25th and 26th of July. And, um, uh, and he mentioned when he made that announcement that he had already secured funding. Uh, he secured that funding on his previous trip to, uh, on, uh, to, to Davos in Switzerland, where he met with funders and said, I want to scale up the fight against corruption, and I think we need to get more and more people and more stakeholders involved, and I want to convene a, a conference uh, to do that. So, uh, so he secured that support, and now that anti-corruption conference is going to take place uh, this month on the 25th. So uh, these are the sort of things that uh, uh, the president preoccupies himself with. And so uh, I've sort of given you a summary uh, of, of, um, of the sort of things he does does without necessarily telling you every specific example of him doing that. But just to uh, uh, sum up, the president spends most of his time attending to the welfare of the Malawian people by meeting with ministers to make sure they are focusing on serving Malawians, by meeting with heads of government institutions, meeting development partners, meeting social groups so that he's able to listen to what Malawians are saying, and me doing public events in order to let Malawians know how they can access public services and programs of the government. He convenes cabinet to do the business of the Malawian people. He meets with the Malawi Defense Force and the Defense Council in order to make sure the security of Malawi remains intact. He meets with businesses from the private sector, both local and international, in order to make sure investment is coming to Malawi and government is creating policies that make Malawi a friend of place for business, trade, and investment. And lastly, the president 
enhances bilateral relations by taking trips to those countries where he knows he's going to be able to find resources that are critically needed in Malawi right now. So that's about the last quarter. This month, the president is going to be um, attending prayers uh, on the 6th of July, I believe that's this week, in order to um, uh, uh, pray with Malawians on Independence Day. Uh, there were going to be celebrations in Blanta, but the president ordered that the celebrations be canceled because we are living in austere times where uh, resources have to be uh, prioritized um, in other areas. So instead, there will be a, a smaller uh, ceremony at BICC um, Umozi Park um, on 6th July. On the 12th of July, the president is going to launch the construction rehabilitation of the M1, which has been neglected for a very long time. And it's a huge project, about 117 million euros in investment to rehabilitate the road from the capital all the way up to the north of the country. This is going to be a game-changing project for many sectors, because the M1 services so many sectors. and. Um, Many presidents have wanted to do it, have not been able to do it, and on the 12th of July, President Chakwera is going to launch the rehabilitation. It was something he promised he would do when he was on the campaign, and the 12th of July is the beginning of him fulfilling that promise. So uh, that's on the 12th of July. Uh, on the um, 16th of July, the president is going to travel to Lusaka, where he is going to attend an AU meeting for regional heads of economic blocks. Uh, so uh, Malawi being the head of SADC as an economic bloc, uh, the president needs to travel there and, and meet his counterparts from ECOWAS and other regional blocs. So that's going to be on the 16th of July. When he returns, he's going to go to Blanta, where there are some major projects that are ready for uh, unveiling to the Malawian people, uh, including the hospital in Palombe, the data center, which has been under construction, has been finished and is ready for launch. The president will also launch the International Trade Fair uh, uh, because uh, he is on a, uh, on a mission to boost trade. There in Blanta, he will also host that uh, anti-corruption conference, which is scheduled for the 25th and the 26th before he returns uh, to come back. Uh, I believe I skipped the um, uh, one of the biggest promises the president made during the campaign was the National Youth Service, which is going to be launched this month of July, uh, I believe on the 19th or the 20th, if I'm not mistaken. National Youth Service is finally being launched. The president has been working on this uh, for, for quite some time, trying to perfect the design, but also find the resources for it. And now there is about 20 billion kwacha that's going to go into the National Youth Service, whose sole purpose is to give young people the opportunity to be trained with skills and to be placed in places where they can be using their skills uh, uh, to, to, to launch their career. So it's a job creation mechanism. Uh, that the president is finally excited to be able to launch this month. So it's going to be a busy month of July. August, the president will take one trip to Kinshasa, uh, Democratic Republic of Congo, where he is going to hand over the chairship of SADC, having concluded one year. Uh, uh, that he was given to chair that. So he needs to go there and officially hand over to the president of the DRC, who is the incoming chair uh, of SADC. Uh, and then in September, the president will take his first ever trip uh, to the UN General Assembly, uh, where he has uh, thus far uh, not gone to uh, represent Malawi and lead the Malawi delegation, which he will do uh, this coming September. So uh, those are just a few highlights of things that you can expect uh, uh, coming up.
But uh, my last assignment today is to give you a little bit of a glimpse of some of the achievements the president has made over the course of the last two years now that he has completed uh, his uh, uh, two years in office. Um, uh, we do have some, uh, uh, some video uh, footage uh, that we would like to share with you because we thought it would be better to show you than to just tell you. So um, our first video uh, that we're going to show you today is one about uh, the we have a program to do with uh, social cash transfers. So um, if I could ask the team if you could cue that uh, video of the social cash transfers. You have it? Yeah. So we're going to, uh, now before they play it, I'll give them a signal to play it. But before they do, uh, uh, one of the pillars of the Chakwera Super High Five is prospering together. And so the social cash transfer program of the Malawi government under the leadership of Dr. Chakwera exists to make sure that people that are living below the poverty line are able to find assistance from the government to lift them out of poverty. And 10% of the Malawi population across the districts have been targeted for this program. So it's not a small program. It's a big prog program because 10% is close to 2 million Malawians that have been targeted who live below the poverty line to lift them out of poverty. So one of the things the president has done to lift people out of poverty is to make sure the social cash transfer program is robust. And he's going to be doing more and more as the time uh, uh, goes. This video gives you a few examples of people that have benefited uh, from this program. Sanje is the southernmost border district in Malawi and lies in the Moashiri Valley. The river forms most of Sanje's eastern boundary and is surrounded by Mozambique. Elevation is around 200 feet, which is 61 meters, except for some hills in the southwestern part of the district, which reach near to 2,000 feet, 610 meters. The district covers an area of 1,942 square kilometers and has a population of over 321,000. Its temperatures get as hot as 52 degrees Celsius in November and 8 degrees Celsius in June. The yearly rainfall averages around 750 millimeters from January through April. It's this type of weather which makes the district a disaster prone area every year and this year was no exception. In Sanje district um, is faced with um, two challenges when it comes during the rainy season. When we have few um, or little rains, we do have dry spells. When we have that season more rains, we do have floods. Indeed, the last uh, rainy season, we had challenges. Um, I think this is the season that we are faced with the uh, cyclone Anna. Soon after the cyclone Anna, we had cyclone Gombe. So um, the livelihood activities of most households were disturbed. Some um, had livestock washed away, um, field gardens were washed away, so uh, it was really um, hard uh, to most households. The impact of drought and floods caused more misery to the population in the district, which half of it is poor and lives below the poverty line of less than a dollar. Therefore, in view of the above, Government, through the Ministry of Gender, in 2015 introduced the Social Cash Transfer Program, SCTP, locally known as Ntukulapa Como in Sanje District. Cash transfers, which are regular, predictable payments of cash, are important social protection modality. 
The initiative promotes economic empowerment while decreasing poverty and food insecurity. The program, which covers all local traditional authorities in the district, has 5,691 household beneficiaries. And of these households, 3,927 are female-headed, thus representing 68%, while 1,697 are male-headed, who represent 53%. Further, the program has also 27,003 individual members, of which 14,311 are children aged 18 years and below. Sanje District being a disaster-prone area, for a long time, beneficiaries have been assisted during disasters and lean seasons. This old couple got assistance of a one-off cash transfer and the family appreciates the initiative. This old lady, who is also a beneficiary of cash transfer, is picking and compiling bricks from her destroyed home, and she explains her ordeal. The in the present lean season of 2021-2022, to the beneficiaries have been assisted with social cash transfer top-ups of 18,000 kwacha per month for the three months starting from December 2021 to February 2022. Irene Hussein, a widow of three children, is one of the cash transfer beneficiaries and she explains her experience of transformation. Beneficiaries are also able to send their children back to school to continue with education, as Ruth, who has now completed her secondary school education and is one of the child-headed family who stays with her two sisters and a brother, explains. Cash transfers do more than provide immediate economic relief. They are an important tool in helping the poor build resilience against weather 
climate and economic shocks as the Minister of Gender, Community Development and Social Welfare, Honorable Patricia Kaliati, explains the importance of the initiative to Sanjay District and the country. Indeed, um, uh, across Malawi, in all 28 districts, people are being targeted for the cash transfer program, especially targeting those who are really vulnerable. And we, as government, we, we are targeting 10% of the population of at a district level. Um, uh, we were supporting it, and the rest were supported by our partners. It's after the census and the, a, a number of uh, districts, the already started implementing the 15% at, at a district level. And uh, in these districts, we, tag, we were given by the uh, German government, European Union, as well as Irish aid, to have amount, uh, cash amounted to 7 billion, uh, supported the Minister of Gender for the lean period. So it is, we targeted uh, 129,602 people. And it has also helped us for a number of uh, uh, the population of students uh, uh, who are now going to school. And the population of students has been increased because of the cash transfer program. Through the cash transfer, the community is also being trained how to make savings so that once they graduate from the initiative, they can confidently stand on their own. Indeed, though typically used as a risk management strategy, cash transfer programs provide a cushion against shocks, enhancing household and community level resilience or the ability to remain at a certain minimum level of income or well-being. Real lives of Malawians all over the country, lives being transformed. Parents who couldn't afford Kudumizanao school now are able to do so. People who were living in houses that were destroyed by floods now rebuilding uh, with the support they have received through the Ndukula Bakomo program. So you're talking about close to 2 million people across the country who have been targeted by uh, cash transfers. So those stories you have seen, multiply them by 2 million, and you, you, you get a sense of the scale of impact uh, that President Chakwera's government is having at the lowest strands of uh, uh, Malawian society where, with people that are living below the poverty line. And to Agamani na kuti, boma la jangwe ra pali be jomo ya banga, makha kuti tu kunyosa malawa o. Malawa o ta o na, mena kwa nchi zozo makha tu kunyosa. Kifu amalawa kamamva, amato kuti ai, sizona, chiro ida galipo be kuma sizona. President Lanif National Economic Empowerment Fund. It was established in 2020, in September, which was four months after the president took office. And since then, National Economic Empowerment Fund has distributed loans of over 25 billion to Malawians across, uh, the, uh, across the country. So people take these loans and are able to um, then invest and start businesses in order to also be part of the prosperity that the president is steadily bringing across the country. So we have other Malawians who want to testify about how the president's fund program through NIF has transformed uh, uh, their lives. Have a look. Nifi in Nifi in Africa, no? Kono in Africa. Chabuin. Nipo, drama, naibu, kaine, two 
Moyo watu uli bwino musarelo uli bwino komaso nkhopi kusala lobosa mwana inde kukalanga tine munthu wotaka sirie vipte chakuti komapano ndikubwera ngati kamwana pepe kaya chipo cha ngongole yali yanifu na denga 250000 iyo sey muna denga e na denga ndithu ndiye kuma chitana zotani ndrama mene na segula shop magula kambuzi maguli sasa ba nyumba bo magula kambuzi e ya Oh, Somba. Magula Gambuzi, Gagamono, Gagui. Somba did Magusaba Commandi to Mabiza and Jerry. But I could be Nanja. Yanja and Jimmy. Yamalombe did. Nanja Malombe. Chabu. Dear Kuyambi and Tame Minimum is an own drama's minis. Put a figure in Roy. Mona would probably go Sinta Gordon, Gomaso, Mongalangizan to Zodan. I never knew one of Sinta Rabbi, which one damn and nothing, Nagula Fideza. Mabanga Chop, Mabula Fideza, Gulibiana Sugulu, Ditu, Paroban, the Guauza, to Amina Fanalena Bungu, Mineri, Udubunga Mendiabuino, Tifonga, the Wuliban Dama, Uma Dani, Uma Pez and Daraman, the Mabanga Chop, Bangana, Sugul, Maguli, Umadan, Kumari Piri and Ditu, Bunga Mendiabu and Ditu, Sari of I. Sana mukufeka kali lime kage antwa kuno kuno kuti madzio kuti komangoje koma kali lime kage pena kafeka kaji sena pena kaji romwe pena kaji yao to visit ai fende alomwe nditu kuno ko komangoje eh ndi falomwe ai walipo komaso ndi kupanga mikisi ndi fende koma de athu lino ndi alomwe komalombe kuno eh ndi bali swa mitu ndi ina eh bali alo achawo swali bali inaso koma koma kriya limodzi mwantende makali abuli bwino so ndi boso jimozi moziso ndi zimene tibo mali kufuna kuti Pene pali ponsi pa mene pali antu. Antu wazika la mwante ndere. Ndi kumate nganda lama za nifi. Nkuma pindula. Ngati chori nga chabo mala malawi. Zabu ino? Eh, zabu ino kwa basiso. Kwa basi zabu ino. Tizite nga nditu ndama za yobe. Geni ndi abu. Sama kwa si azibambo. Ndi kuma gila uka mene geni ayi. Azima iso masuka alida pali pa ufuro kudi. Ase nganda lama. Ndi kudani. Ndi kwa daka daka pa komwana. Ndi kuma wane kabu ino. Kusuku watu kubabija. Ndi po pa komosu kuma wane kabu ino bwino nditu. Zina lija? Amuhone mulibanji. Ine ndiri bwino tukai no. Muone kaji mwe. Ndrama zake zani fizo mwezi. Ko kwambiri. Chabwino. Munala ndira ndrama zingati poyamba kapena songa ndi munandira kachiwiri. Ndrama zo pano muzitana. Ine koyamba ndinatenga ndrama zanga zokwa na 250000. Ndrama imene nditatenga ndina ndina sirira anzanga nali ndi khola labwino kwambiri la nkumba. Kodi makhola nkumba masiana asosiana. Kwambiri. Ena ama weta nkumba ama ngodya doti. Ama jeja Nkumba sawo zima dia doti. Chabwino. Ea, kwa maine ndi nasi zao, nkumba zanga. Nkumba zanga, zisa kare zao dia doti. Ndi nasi zao, tikare kona la standardi. Kwa mbili, loti muzika la nkumba, zisika la mafri. Mwote ziribo nkumba zao? Kwa mbili nso, za mbili nso. Mkwa zao, pita nso, kazi zona nso. Ndiye, ndita gondita, panga kona la nga lija. Ndi na ikamo nkumba. Kena ka, ndi na zatenga ndrama kashu hili. 600,000. Ndrama imene ndi kudutsa half million. Indeka. Ndi ndrama imene ndi nawo ganza zonjezera nkumba zija ndi naona kuti asizi nandikwanire. Ndi nawo na ganza zonjezera khola lija. Ndi ndi nawo njezera adi. Ndi ina ndi nagula mankhwala, fertilizer, manasa le opa wosiana siana. Ndi kumanga khola langa lija la standard iso. Panopa ndi ndi khola lali kulu la nkumba ndipo ndi ndi nkumba sasa mbiri. Komaso pakati panopa kukhola kwangako kusenza kuti nkumba zimapeleka so manyowa ndiri ndiso ndi tomato wabwino so kwambiri oti manyowa mashokera nkumba munja eh inu ndemo kozeka kuya nkula za mbiri ine zinandi eh yeah? mm. kodi mukati zinandi ndeu za mbiri vinandi waka vambiri mbiri vinandi waka mm. zina lija ine linse nguruwe kuno kudoroba 
cooperative chabwimu nad ndiye inu muna renga ndira mazingati ine na renga 700000 kuchoka pano pa doroba ndikumaka lowesa mugrosale zina nkugula ko ngombe zina nkugula ko malo murata zoti inuyo muni grosale eh ine na grosale kuno ku doroba juu sit alipo aliko ambiri mbiri mukampeza embe yes embe alipo eh embe aliko Nadi. Muka kala kala muma mwako pangono? Kwa mbili iso kugawa nditu, ndia zizanga so hapa kooperative kwa gawi la nditu. Ah, kumasaa kuti, sisi teka muna buino ndalama zo mpaka kutuku kwa nazo kwa mamuka mbila mu, um, zero zimezi muna zirenga kuna. Isa dadadora pano pa kooperative ndalama, wakati kawa na samisa, wakati samisa anga, tuku samisa ananga pano pa kooperative, wakupamba na pambana. So zero zila nga tuku zolanga pano pa kooperative zila, ndia tuka enda siya mpaka kunyumba. Mwote ana kusangala? Eh, ana kusangala hapa nopo wako olo mkaga, chambiko, juwe si uyu, singhani. Ah, musa, musa ribangisa kuti mpaka teka fike. Hapa muka fike ka. Kunyumba? Kunyumba muka ona iniwe. Grosa la ilikuti, maro alikuti, na grosa masipika kuchokela mdama za mfingi, za nifi zomwezo, alikuti, alikunyumba kumwe. Masipika wote ya zidani? Azi imba mwazi dansi ya wawa, ngati haka funa, azi buwela, azi tenga kuma 5,000. Antu azika dumpa masipika? E, azika dumpa kukupita kuseriko. E, ina mkumasa ngalaso na nisu. Mungala ngizi zotani mwina antu amini... Akufuna atalandi ila ndalama kuchokila kunifi na ama buweza pangono pangono kwa mwina kuopa. Ndi zima wopsha kutenga ndalama kunifi? Kunifi ndalama sizi wopsha. Zima dengela iwe mwini zelu zaku. Ndalama kunifi ziligo zikusaka andu. Kutelgo ifeti zitenga matu milioni. Pazo mwiti kufuna angatimati la gula malo panopo mzafa kuti inasu nda gula kalimutu. Nda gula malo kuina so oti ndi mange ma uje na ma... ma Kwa mano inuyo kutimu mufike renga 2 milioni, simu venga, simu tawa kudoropa. Osa tawa, osa tawa ni ndalama. Fuka uka tawa iwe nkazi ya ulibe malo opita ambili. Kunja sunga kafike uka buwele ya fuka iwe niwe nkazi. Ama siyana ndia azimuna. Azimuna akuza kunyamu kapa na upita kunja kuma ife iya iti libe malo. Mwati mwaka 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 Chukua uta azima inda menti makaraba umpawi. Azatu azimuna siya ukaraba umpawi. Kuma ifeti makaraba umpawi. Nde nga ati mwapeza mwai wote nga kwa ndarama. Uike nibu ino mwai u. Nga ati mwapeza kopareli vi uku pasa ndarama. Limbi kila nukwila nchito pa kopareli vi ukutu mkapeza yeso mwai uomu itapeza. Za, 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 a president ama onetsetsa kuti maga maga nkani yotu yotu kula azimai izikitika mitimo komanso izikitika mboma so uh, our next uh, video is going to show you just how resolved and resolute uh, the president is on empowering women not just in the village communities through these initiatives but the president is committed to empowering women even in the highest echelons of government i can say without fear of contradiction that president lazarus chokwera has done so much more for the empowerment of women uh, than we have seen in the history of the presidency uh, in this country. The very first president to comply with the Gender Equality Act requirement for there to be no less than 40% of representation of either gender. Very first president to do that uh, and to ensure that he complies with that. So we have a video uh, of just some, it's just a small sample uh, there are so many women the president has empowered, but here is a small sample of women the president has empowered in government. My name is Dr. Patricia Nekariati, the Minister of Gender, Children, Community Development and Social Affairs. I am empowered. My name is Vera Bamtukuli, I'm the Minister of Labor, and I am empowered. My name is Agnes Nyalonje, Minister of Education. I am empowered. My name is Jean Mono Sendeza, MP, Minister of Homeland Security, and I am empowered. I am Halima Daud, the Deputy Minister of Local Government, and I'm empowered. My name is Agnes Nkusankuma, Deputy Minister of Gender, Committed Development and Social Welfare, and I'm empowered. My name is Monica Changanamuno. Deputy Minister of Education, 
I will empower it. My name is Nancy Chawola Mboko, Deputy Minister of Transport and Public Works, and I am empowered. My name is Madali Tsogambawa Wirima. I'm a member of parliament. I'm also Deputy Minister of Agriculture. I am empowered. My name is Stella Ndau, Malawi High Commissioner to the Republic of South Africa, and I am empowered. My name is Catherine Kumunje, the Ambassador of the Republic of Malawi to the Arab Republic of Egypt and I am empowered. My name is Wes Moyo. I'm High Commissioner of the Republic of Malawi to the Republic of Mozambique. I'm empowered. My name is Colini Zamba, the Secretary to the President of Cabinet. I'm empowered. I'm Janet Vanda. I'm the Deputy Secretary to the President and Cabinet, and I feel empowered. I am Marjorie Shema, Clerk to the Cabinet and Principal Secretary responsible for Presidential Affairs and I am empowered. I am, I am empowered. empowered. to encourage you about the progress the uh, president has made uh, has to do with uh, development projects that uh, are underway across the country. Some of these development projects started in 2020, others started in 2021, but uh, across the journey, uh, over the president's term in office, we will be showing you progress made on those uh, development projects so that you can see. Um, uh, I believe that with regard to issues of food security, um, you have already seen uh, the progress the president made because uh, the president went on a crop inspection tour in the south, the center, east and north uh, and showcased uh, their productivity through the affordable inputs program. The president assured Malawians that through his inspection tours, he had noticed that production levels for food had gone down um, uh, somewhat compared to the previous year, but still the production was sufficient to have enough food for everyone to eat uh, this season. So uh, the same goes for the fight against corruption. I did not want to dwell much on what the president has done to fulfill his promise to be the biggest champion for the fight against corruption. A Malawi, Agujua Oka, Zimena President Abanga, Bofuna, Kuone Tsakudi O, Demund Hamene, Agufuna, Kutana Ndinchi, Duwaka Dangale, Ntikumuno. Zimena Zo, Zakambido Zambiri, a President I, Amapanga Zentuzo Boera. So uh, uh, that's already uh, a matter of public record, the President's accomplishments with regard to the fight uh, against corruption. But the biggest thing, in my view, the President has done to make sure that we are on the winning side of the fight against corruption is he has assembled an incredible team of warriors. The ACB director that the President appointed in June uh, last year uh, doing a phenomenal job. And uh, the President continues to support her, making sure the operation she is running is fully funded, increasing the, the amount of staff that she has, uh, and increasing her security. The President uh, has committed to all those things, and he has delivered on all of those commitments for a whole year since she took office. Attorney General Tabo Chagaka Nyerenda is another person the President has recruited who has done great work in cancelling um, fraudulent contracts in the Malawi government. The Attorney General has done a lot of work to challenge those who want to use lawsuits against the government to defraud the Malawian people. He challenges those. Other Attorney Generals in the past would settle out of court and pay the money. The Attorney General that the President has refuses to settle if he feels it's going to defraud the Malawian people. Same thing with uh, Dr. Steve Kayuni, the Director of Public Prosecutions. You will hear in the papers almost every week 
the number of prosecutions his office is pursuing in order to reclaim what has been stolen from the Malawian people and in order to hold those who have defrauded Malawians accountable. Um, and now the president has recently appointed uh, the head of the Financial Intelligence uh, Agency in order to make sure that that fight also uh, continues to make progress. These are things the president has done and the results will be felt uh, for many, many years to come. And so um, uh, with, uh, with that uh, closing remark, let me uh, allow you to uh, watch one last clip and then the press secretary will take questions. This clip is a sample of development projects that are taking shape across the country. Have a look. Pomwe tikupitiliza kuona zina mwazi tukuko. Zomwe zikuchitika nziko munu. Lero, tichita kalondo londo, wazi tuko zo siyana siyana. Zomwe president Lazarus Chakweda ada alonjeza kwa chitira amalari. Kodi zitukukozi. Zayamba. Kapena zitu kukozi, za takari, na angangadi ziri nkati, ziri pa mwuringo otani. Chakazi Bridge, mbo mbala nzimba. Ndiji tanzo jabu ino, jabu mwe mbo mbala Dr. Lazar asimba kafe jakwira. Liku pangira zitu kukazake, macha nkukwa mbili. Bridge ili meneri, lama nizika kari, ndipo magali mwundo kumoso watu, ayamba kukwilisa nchito. Ndipo Kenyatta Drive, nzimba street, mzindo walilongwe. Namwira Road, Mbo Malama Jinga, Mwanza Neno Road, Nzuzu Rebrai Road, Mzinda Wanzuzu, Ndina Mikuwa Wa Road, Kuzo 